Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, it's Sarad, and uh, in this video we're going to look into Aries and Moon and also Rising reading, uh, tarot reading that is, uh, for the week 21st to 27th of February uh, 2022nd, and uh, if you do want to skip the draw, the card draw that is, and uh, you do want to move right away to the spread, uh, you can do that by using the timestamps in the description down below. Oops. Uh, other than that, if you do uh, enjoy the content here on the channel and you do wish to support us, guys, uh, just leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads uh, and as well live streams. All right. So uh, with that being said, <clears throat> moving right away for the draw, the first card that uh, you, Aries, have for the week uh, that is going to be the page of uh, cups you see the card yeah right so the page of cups uh followed by the second card uh which stands as uh the full card followed by uh, the third one for your spread which is going to be the uh eight of swords uh moving next we have uh the four of pentacles and uh, the final card for your draw, that is going to be the Seven of Swords. All right, so these five cards, and I do want to draw one additional card for the Page of Cups, so I can tell you a little bit more about this person and what their purpose in the, your week is going to be. And uh, this additional card happens to, oh my God, the Emperor. That's, that actually changes the whole thing we have here. Yeah, I mean, we do have the Emperor. A passive enemies as an elemental dignities and how this whole thing plays out comes in a second here as we do move to the reading right away. So, Eris, uh, you can see your spread on the screen here. And uh, first, when I drew the Page of Cups, I thought that this is going to be a week where you're going to make a fantastic interaction and as well relationship, whatever that relationship is with uh, a romantic incentive or business incentive. It did not really matter at that point. However, as uh, the king, uh, as the emperor, I'm sorry, it's a king, but it is the king of kings. So as the emperor came as a catalyst to the Page of Cups, uh, that showed a, a person right at the start of your week that just cannot keep their things together. They just cannot keep up as well with all the demands that the situation in between you two is uh, is literally requiring. And so the week from making a, a dependence to be with somebody, it's actually a week that is going to start up with a severance and we can see that as well as the full card it is the next one that comes about after the uh, the final interaction in between you and that uh, page of cups which is catalyzed with the emperor so yeah guys uh, you can expect in the very first half of uh, the week no matter how much uh, emotional incentive you do have with this individual just for the sheer fact that they either cannot keep up with you and, like I said, the demands of your situation or it is just a, a matter of, of practical reasons, okay? Or numerous other, uh, other aspects that could stand in between you two. Uh, I think that a unanimous call is going to be made here that uh, you just can't move on together, whether it is in... The business or whether it is into the uh, romantic field <clears throat> now i could talk more about the page but it wouldn't matter really because either way um you are just gonna go your separate ways uh which by the way is going to be you may not see it at first but to you is going to be a, li a process of a liberation so to speak and that is because um 
as the page could not keep up that and you are together that meant that you are slowing down into your growth and as well into your progress not to mention that as we do have the eight of swords here at the at the middle of your spread it means that for one or another reason the interaction in between you and this person restricted you in some way kind of like it set limitations that you just could not do certain stuff that you wanted or you did not saw a uh, certain options avail available that you had and you still have uh, and this these limitations are gonna fall down once you do make that severance and once you do see the world for what the world truly is through the eyes of the fool and once you kind of like go your separate ways where the fool is gonna take place many more aspects like many more people like many more jobs you know like many more paths in front of you are going to become not just only uh possible but they are going to become tangible right you you can pick up your future from there on moving forward you can pick up your social circle you can pick up your friends uh, you can pick it pick up as well whom to date with now, I don't want to dive into these weeklies too much into examples here, but to me, that situation speaks about two people that like each other, but despite that, one of them, it is just cannot make up their mind, or they cannot pretty much give the demands to the situation, and the second person, which in this case, it is you, Aries, you decide that you, you just can't, you, you don't have time to waste at the end of day and so you make your decision to just stop performing into this and from there you know your world opens up and you do see that that's not the only person who actually has an interest in you because with the four card like i said there are going to be many tangible options available in front of you you get to pick whichever one you want as as far uh, as much as not as far but as much as your decision comes to be spontaneous and as well pure and innocent so that means no premeditative um or premeditated uh as well if you can say it surreptitious intentions are to set into your mind so the reason should be growth and nothing nothing more and also with the full card here at the very first half of the week once you do make your severance you can expect as well to attract a lot of people uh, or flock a lot of people under your banner because people are going to be interested in you now you're open for the world and they just want to know you better whether it is your co-workers or whether it is uh, people from your social circle whatever it is it's just you are going to have so many um, options available in front of you and uh, once the things settle down you know the uh, the waters of your situation calm the eight of swords uh, takes place here which should happen towards the middle of your week and a couple of things are going to happen at the middle of the week with the eight of swords one of them is like i said you will realize how more how many limitations that interaction kind of like bestowed upon yourself which is going to lead to the second thing and the second thing it's the truth it is and, and the truth is that emotional attachment is one thing but at the end of the day, uh, let me formulate that very well into my mind so I don't get misunderstood here. So emotional attachment is one thing, but at the end of the day, if that emotional attachment brings you more restrictions and kind of like cages you out or cages you in rather instead of giving you freedom and liberty, then it's just it's not something you would want to sign up for. I'm not going to dive more into it because I'm not qualified yet to do so in uh, uh, as an aspect of your star sign. Hopefully soon I will be. But uh, for now, that is kind of like it speaks very well for your star sign. That you are not a person who can be caged. You are not somebody who can be told what to do. Uh, with the Eight of Swords as well, it's highly likely that you may burst some boundaries and start doing things which are outside of your box, experimenting and researching new fields, or rather like trying out new fields of, um, of performance, whether it is within your social circle, 
romantic life or even career and that is going to be rather very short process because the four of pentacles is taking place next okay and that is the result of the eight of swords where you are to find yourself now having your interest where you are to find yourself now knowing what exactly you want to you, you want to do whom to be with for example and what you or what you want to work uh for your future and the second half of the week it is where you are ensuring the the the, the certain faith of that future you are working on your stability and your solidity uh within your your new path that you are to choose here in the four card Okay, so that literally means a liberty to make a decision. And uh, the, the last, uh, the final, or rather like the end of your week, which is uh, shown here with the seven of, uh, with the seven of swords, it actually re relates to the middle of the week, which is the eight of, uh, the eight of swords, but the end of your week is going to be more spiritual than, than you may think. Despite that we do have Seven of Swords, now you may see in many books that the card may mean betrayal, lies, and so on and so forth. But that is only if you do not follow... How can I put it into words? You do not follow... Uh, it's your own agenda and not exactly following what you believe in let's put it that way and uh here what you are to start believing in at the uh, at the process of the week it is the freedom of making your own choices and as well having as many options available as a possible and it's going to be a spiritual because there at the end of the week you are going to give a really good thought of your past experience that you had not just only throughout this week but also the whole process of interaction that you had with this individual page of cups and uh, that is catalyzed with the king with the not the king but the emperor here and um, what you are going to come up to conclusion, or at least I hope so that you're going to come up to conclusion, is that at the end of the day, everybody kind of like has the, have their own war with life, you know, everybody wages their own battle. And at the end of the day, you do not want to wage someone else's war and someone else's battle, but you do want to focus on your own battles here and uh, those battles for all of us are either being successful or either being happy and therefore you probably are going to come up to the conclusion that if you don't if you do not make anything for your own happiness nobody else will so uh with that the reading is concluded hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it do not take it much personally with that severance guys it's something that the sooner it happens the better because the more emotional connection you do have or the deeper emotional connection you are building up with this person uh the the worse uh, the the setback is going to be and at the end of the day you alone are going to realize that you just cannot keep up that way you do need some tangible outlook for the future and it's going to happen once you do make that severance which could be rather difficult choice of yours so yeah we're going to see each other next time and until then bye